Hello, everyone. It's Noah here from iHollywood TV. We're actually coming to you from Los Angeles this morning. We're virtually, this is our virtual setup right here. We're on a green screen, so we're not actually in the studio. But here to speak with us this morning about toying with the holidays is Chad Michael Murray. Chad, hey, you. How you doing? How you doing? Do you like you like this? So the if it's even worse up here. And the beanie. Yes. So, so this is just covering up this whole mess that's going on here. But, you know, tis the season. And in about one week's time, this will all go white. And, uh, I mean, because someone's got to be Santa. Oh, look. Oh, so you do. So do you really dress up as Santa for your kids? Is that a thing that you have to do for uh, We're going to do that this year. We're actually doing a, um, we're doing a, a, a toy uh, drive next week. Oh, and so boy. I'm not old enough to be Santa yet. But that doesn't mean I can't be Nick Jr., that's Santa right, Chad. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna. This is all gonna go white, and I'm gonna go out, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna teach the kids a, a thing or two about you know giving and, and doing everything for a toy drive next week, and so, uh, and then I'm doing a western. That's the other reason I can't shave. So anyway, it's just gonna go crazy for the time <laughs> being. You would happen to know what happened to the old kitty train that ran at the Christmas festival, would you? I can make a few calls. You have it. December eighteenth. Any idea what it would take to get it running again? Oh, a Christmas miracle. So, you in? I'm in. Cindy Busby and Chad Michael Murray, all aboard for Christmas Romance, Toying with the Holidays. Well, let's talk about your movie, Toying with the Holidays. It is your new Lifetime Christmas movie airing this year on their network. So tell us the story and how it was like to work with your co-star, Cindy Busby. Oh gosh, Cindy. Cindy is a trooper, man. She is, she's positive. She's a light. She's on it every day. Um, you know, we'd come to work and we'd just make it better, you know, and I, I worked with uh, Bradley Walsh, our director before. And so we had a, a firsthand dialogue for everything. So we, you know, if we needed to simplify things, we could simplify things because, you know, you shoot them in pretty condensed schedules. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, Cindy was awesome and we were able to just create uh, more than what was on the page and just start bringing it to life step by step by step. And I think, uh, I think when we got done and, uh, I, I finally screened the movie, uh, a few weeks back and I gotta say, I think we made something with a lot of heart, you know? Um, and I really enjoyed it and boy, that train, Oh, that train was awesome. I got to drive it. Yeah. Now two in the movie, we see Kevin and Danielle, they try to pull off a Christmas miracle to get the old North pole express running. Have you ever went above and beyond to try to pull off a holiday miracle or a magical moment in your own personal life? Wouldn't be Christmas if I didn't try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think, um, I mean, nothing in compared to, I think, what we see in the movies. But for me, um, Christmas is, you know, the whole, a lot of it, uh, other than, of course, my spiritual and religious beliefs, but that aside, the rest of the celebration and stuff is for the kids, right? And I think bringing that magical fantasy, uh, uh, giving it as much depth and bringing it to life as much as possible. So we really uh, deck the holes around here. My house looks very similar. Of course, you can't tell right now because there's no point in doing this room. Uh, and my kids, uh, my kids are in the office right now doing homeschool. They're homeschooled, so they, they took the office. Alas, I'm here. But... Um, the rest of the house, we decked the halls and um, we created a few traditions that we went mm -hmm. big for. And yeah, I think it's just always about bringing that miracle and bringing that light and bringing that that love to the kids. And so, like I said, next week we're going to go um, and do the toy drive and, and teach the kids what it's like to give and not just receive. That's not what the holiday is about. And, uh, you know, we go full Griswold around here. I don't know. I'm sure you've seen the vacation films. We go full Griswold around here, full Clark Griswold. So we decked the house out and just go nuts. And I did it this year on a bum leg. So that, that, that was a Christmas miracle in itself. I actually, um, I'm on the IR. I, uh, I had to get a surgery. So I had to take the year off. It's all good. Don't do your own stunts. Don't do your um, <laughs> It said Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. I don't know how he does his own stunts, Chad. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, you know, I think he's got 20 years on me. I pull something or rip something uh so anyway i tore the labrum in my hip so i had to get that surgically reattached and uh 
So putting lights on the house this year, that was a bit of a miracle in itself. I had the kids holding the ladder and the whole nine yards. Oh, but uh, what, you know, what Kevin and Danielle do in this film is they go above and beyond to bring what it is, that special feeling, that energy, and that gathering together for the holidays. And that's what, that's what it's all about. As the title is Toying with the Holidays, do you have a favorite toy that was absolutely your favorite when you were a kid growing up? Gosh, that's a good question. I don't know. I, I, I only remember one particular thing, and I wasn't a kid at the time. I was probably uh, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. um, but it was the uh, Nintendo 64 was coming out. And my brothers and I were so excited to get it that my, my older brother, my dad, my dad said, look, if you guys really want that thing. You guys can go sit in line at Black Friday. So we knew that Target was getting a couple in. And so we got there, you know, two in the morning and we sat in the car in the parking lot until other people started showing up. This was like at the beginning of Black Friday, like when people weren't waiting outside of stores and lines two days before, like you'd show up and there might be a couple people. Anyway, the, the, the Nintendo 64 was a big get that year. And I remember getting it. And then, ironically enough, I ended up in the hospital. Uh, December 19th, uh, I had a, uh, an intestinal injury. And so I was in the hospital for like two and a half months. And I never ended up getting to play it until I got home two and a half months later. Mm -hmm. So all that excitement, all that uh, everything. But uh, ultimately, it ended up being awesome. It ended up being an awesome toy, uh, as it would be. Everyone, be sure to catch Chad Michael Murray in Toying with the Holidays. Premier Saturday, December the 18th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Chad, it's so great to get to virtually meet you. I saw you, I think it was in 2019 before COVID hit. Uh, you were at Christmas Con, and everyone just yeah. loved and adored you. All those young and old ladies, the, the in between, the ages from 20 to above, and everyone just was wanting <laughs> to get a photo with Chad. And I saw you over there. I was so busy doing press and interviews, I just did, couldn't get a chance to come over there and say hello. But I I'm can't glad that we got to do this. Work you had, no, you must have been busy, 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 busy. And now I'm really busy, busy, busy because I'm doing 35 movies with Lifetime, all their movies this year. So I'm doing interviews with. Each every little talent, so I'll not love little to hear. talent, but you love know. To hear. God bless you. I, I I missed the con this year though, obviously because I'm on the IR. I can't stand for you know that long, and so I had to miss this one this year. But you know what? I'm gonna make it up to everybody. I'll be there next year, and I'll stay. Right. And make sure everybody gets. We take photos with everybody. We'll st I'll stay late. Oh, that's right. Oh my goodness. Well, you take care. You have a great happy holiday with your family. And thank you so much for speaking with me. It was a whole lot of fun. Absolutely. Have a blessed one. Happy holidays and happy new year.